The first thing that I'm focusing on is there's PK, the hockey player, PK, the businessman, PK, the family man, PK, the philanthropist. Everybody needs to understand you do have a brand as an athlete, whether you choose to define it, whether you choose to talk about it or not. PK Subban is known for his exciting and hard-hitting style of play, as well as having one of the most colorful personalities in sports. He is one half of America's favorite athletic couple and now a co-homeowner to a new luxurious pad in Beverly Hills, California. While dominating in the NHL, the former Norris winner for best defenseman in the NHL has officially cemented his relationship with retired snow skiing superstar Lindsey Vonn, purchasing their newly renovated $6.75 million home after she proposed to him this year. 107 degrees, everybody's complaining about the heat. You got this three-piece suit on, how are you feeling? I said, well, Hannah, it's, it's hot out here, but it's not as hot as Lindsey Vaughn looks. In these videos, we do not reveal any addresses, so please don't show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. While racking up points, winning NHL awards, and building a $35 million net worth, off the ice, Subban has a well-known stylish sense of fashion. He often is seen in designer suits and unique accessories. Subban was ranked in the top 50 of best dressed athletes by Sports Illustrated. On top of dominating the game of hockey, Subban has a humanitarian side after committing to raise $10 million for the Montreal Children's Hospital from 2015 to 2022. My foundation and I have made a charitable commitment of $10 million to the Montreal Children's Hospital. The hospital called it the biggest philanthropic commitment by a sports figure in Canadian history. In 2017, he was awarded the Meritorious Service Cross in recognition of how generous his gift stands as an example of how professional athletes can positively change lives in their communities. In June 2020, Subban donated $50,000 to the GoFundMe effort to raise money for Gianna Floyd, the daughter of the late, great George Floyd. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed about 95% of you guys are not subscribed so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos literally every day in this one we'll take a look at a few mansions he's called home over the years if you like these videos please ring the bell for notifications we've done house tours on ariana grande jason statham and we'll link some more at the end follow us on instagram at that dude mcfly so we can see who you guys want to comment on next let's get into the video I love Montreal, I love the city. I've been very fortunate that since I've been playing there, the fans have been very receptive towards me, both in the community, on the ice. In every facet of living there, I've been received in a positive manner and I've been very, very lucky that way. While P.K. Subban was a member of the Montreal Canadiens, he had an 1,887 square foot condo in the heart of downtown Montreal, which had $22,572 a year in condo fees. The condo has three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and one half bathroom. According to the listing, the amenities include stunning marble bathrooms, stained hardwood floor, huge kitchen with breakfast bar open to a spacious dining room, abundant fenestration, and a one-car garage. He had sold his downtown Montreal condo for $1.4 million. Besides being one of the most successful for Alpine ski racers, Vaughn has built quite a real estate portfolio over the past few years. The Olympic gold medalist listed her five bedroom, 4.5 bathroom abode for sale. Vaughn had purchased the 4,046 square foot Los Angeles residence for 2.6 million in August 2017. The home features wide planked oak flooring, high ceilings, and exposed wood accents throughout. The kitchen is equipped with stainless steel Viking appliances, wine storage, a pantry area, and new quartz countertops with dark wood cabinetry, and a big center island with breakfast bar seating. The living and dining rooms are divided by a ceiling high brick and case fireplace and there are celestial windows showcasing the backyard. There is also a media room with built-in shelving by the kitchen plus another living room with wood frame fireplace. The master suite is located upstairs with a fireplace and private balcony. There's a custom walk-in closet as well as a bathroom with two separate vanities, a built-in tub and a shower. Outside there's a pool, outdoor kitchen, day bed and fire pit plus a home theater. Vaughn had also purchased a 7,042 square foot home on Black Cork Creek for $3.8 million in 2014 and use it as her primary residence. It's got great mountain views and it's super private, noting that Vaughn was attracted to the home's location and privacy as it overlooks the creek. The five bedroom, five and a half bathroom abode is a large house, but it lives very intimately. The kitchen is fitted with wood cabinetry and a large breakfast bar with counter seating and is open to an additional dining area. The great room is centered around a double-sided stone fireplace and at the moment, the mantle is covered in Vaughn's skiing trophies and memorabilia. There's also 
also built in shelving to show off a few more of Vaughn's many prizes. Downstairs, there's a family room with a wet bar and fireplace. Vaughn also added a few personal details to the property, like a fancy gym, sound system, and a custom doggy door for her three pups. PK Subban and newly retired snow skiing superstar Lindsey Vaughn officially cemented their recent engagement after she proposed to him last year. The reimagined villa initially landed on the market in 2018 for $7.6 million. In 2019, the price dropped to $7.4 million and then $7.25 million last summer. They eventually snagged the hilltop villa in the LA Fancy Pants Beverly Hills post office area for $6.75 million. The freshly refreshed property was offered as a fully furnished turnkey residence. The house was built in the 1950s but had been radically refurbished in recent years and the villa sale included the furnishings. Subban and Vaughn's current mansion in Beverly Hills, California features 5,500 square foot, four bedroom and six bathrooms. The listing describes the mansion as exceptional modern European glamour in a recently renovated Italian villa hilltop estate. Through the gated and totally private drive, you'll find a stunning single story home of four bedrooms and six bathrooms dominated by a grand portico style porch formed by a row of massive gleaming white square columns, a large master bedroom with dual private bathrooms and two large walk-in closets, abound with natural light and picturesque canyon views. Equipped with new HVAC and AV system includes a high-tech Christian system for sound, lighting, and TV which includes multiple high-def cameras to support high security needs, life source, water filtration system, Tesla charger, and three-car garage. Inside, a skylight topped and column enhanced foyer with ashy brown wood floors leads to formal living room and dining room. The former anchored by a minimalist carved stone fireplace and plenty large enough to comfortably accommodate a gleaming grand piano. And the latter with a humongous 12 pane window that looks into a verdant courtyard garden. The sleek high-end kitchen was just not one but two large work islands under a skylight that ensures natural light all day long. While the adjacent family room, complete with entertainment wet bar, spills out the backyard through a wide bank of French doors. Three ample guest bedrooms are complemented by a master retreat replete with a fireplace, two lavishly fitted walk-in closets, and two decadently appointed bathrooms. Out back, a coveted patio area is situated steps away from a long rectangular pool and circular spa built-in grill flanked by two strips of grassy green lawn. The lovebirds Lindsey Vaughn and P.K. Subban are expected to set down some real estate roots in New Jersey, where he plays for the New Jersey Devils. And that's all I have for P.K. Subban and where he calls home. After looking at a few of his properties past and present, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite house was. Make sure you guys ring that notification bell just so you know when we are dropping new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.